Hey guys, so you might have seen my non-spoiler review on Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, the 1998 movie. Well, I thought it was about time I did my spoiler review on it, as there is a lot to talk about spoiler-wise. So yeah, let's get going. But before I do, if you haven't seen the movie yet, check out my non-spoiler review first. Watch the movie if it sounds like something you'd like to watch. And then I hope you'll come back here and check out the spoiler review, which will be really nice. And also please give this video a massive like, a subscribe and share to anyone you know who is a Scooby-Doo fan. So yeah, um, this is not your typical Scooby-Doo movie. It is definitely one of the more horror ones out there, if not the scariest one out of the lot. And so the movie starts with a gang, like they're going their separate ways as they're bored that the monsters are always just people in costume. Is that foreshadowing? So Daphne and Fred run a TV series on hunting down real ghosts. And Fred contacts Velma, who's working at a bookshop. And he contacts Shaggy and Scooby, who work at an airport, so that he can bring the gang together for Daphne's birthday. And they go on a road trip together, trying to find ghosts for the show. And they arrive in New Orleans. And they meet a young woman named, called Lena who invites them to Moonscar Island, where she works for a woman called Simone, and the island is apparently haunted by the ghost of the pirate Morgan Moonscar. And so, you know, of course they go. And, you know, while, while they're on the island, they receive these ghostly warnings telling them to leave Moonscar Island. But of course, they see this as a mystery, so they're going to stay, even though Scooby and Shaggy, of course, want to leave. And yeah, so we get introduced to the zombies and Fred and Daphne manage to capture a zombie. And this is where the plot twist is at. They believe the zombie is a human because of course, all the ghosts, all the monsters they've captured so far, they've just been humans. They've just been wearing a mask or a costume or something. And so Fred pulls its head off thinking it's a cover, a mask, you know, whatever you want to call it. And well, it's a real zombie. <laughs> and Shaggy and Scooby like they find some wax voodoo dolls resembling the gang which they of course play with because you know those two they just you know and they're actually involuntarily like controlling their friends and in the meantime we've got the rest of the gang like they discover a passageway which leads to a secret chamber for voodoo rituals and Velma confronts Lena and the gang end up being trapped as they're controlled by the dolls Ooh. and then we get the big reveal so Simone and Lena then reveal the truth all along that like all of them are were cats and then we get the backstory which was really nice I quite enjoyed the backstory so the backstory is that basically Lena and Simone were settlers on the island like 200 years ago and they worshipped a cat god and then when Moonscar and his crew invaded the island and chased the settlers into the bayou where they were eaten alive by alligators, Simone and Lena managed to escape. And they prayed to the god, the cat god, to curse Moonscar, which forced them to actually turn into immortal bear cats. And so they killed the pirates who became zombies. And every harvest moon, they lure innocent people and sacrifice them to preserve their immortality so we get the twist that actually the zombies weren't the bad guys they were actually just trying to help they were actually just trying to scare them off the island to save them another plot twist i mean amazing and then you know you've got the ending you've got a shaggy and scoop you know they always come to some sort of rescue you know they manage to disrupt the werecat ceremony, which allows the rest of the gang to like free themselves. And it becomes too late for the werecats as the harvest moon is past. So they turn to dust and the zombies manage to leave this plane and rest in peace. <sighs> so yeah, it was, I mean, the characters in this, like we've got the werecats, we've got Lena and Simone, very convincing from the start of the movie that they, you know, that they're innocent, they're worried, you know, they've got this ghost that's haunting them, they've got zombies and whatnot, like there's a lot of mysterious stuff happening on the island. And then we've got the zombies who were like crazy because, you know, zombies, whenever we think of zombies, we think keep our distance, we don't want to get close to these zombies, you know, zombies are bad guys. 
but they're not. And then we we learn that actually Simone and Lena are sort of the bad guys. I mean, sure, the whole thing started because Moon Scar and his crew, like, you know, they invaded the island, but you know. But yeah, the inno- the the villains because they're luring innocent people onto the island, and then the amount of plot twists. I, I mean, I just saw Grace's expressions when I was talking about the plot twists, and it was crazy. I mean, the amount of plot twists in the movie was just amazing. They like made it really interesting to watch, and they didn't make it too predictable because I never saw it coming. I don't know how many of you guys saw it coming, but I didn't see it coming. And the horror slash supernatural side to it, like horror wise you know when I first watched it I was I was a little petrified I'm not gonna lie like Scooby-Doo movies and stuff like they're not that scary but this was a little scary like it's very realistic and I also like the fact that it's it's not what it seems because you know usually all these movies like the bad guy is usually just human but in this one the bad guy was actually it was actually supernatural which is something the gang wants so yeah this This movie was, like, the start of, like, all of Scooby-Doo movies that follow. This was the first Scooby-Doo movie that we got, and it was a very good start. And I think this is actually, like, one of the best, like, just hearing what other people have got to say and, like, reading reviews and stuff. But everybody's talked about this movie, like, in high regard. Like, they've mentioned how scary it was when they watched it when they were little, but then watching it, like, 20 years later and, like, just absolutely loving it, like I absolutely understand that feeling because I'm exactly the same like it is definitely one of the best Scooby-Doo movies around and if you guys don't really tend to watch a lot of Scooby-Doo stuff then you know I would highly recommend this one like I mean I, I just spoiled the whole thing but I still think you can watch it and enjoy it you know I don't see why not like the, the twists and like the whole story in the background like I feel like it was just so good I just just really enjoyed it Grace have you got anything to add or well what you spoil I mean I didn't <laughs> mind it but oh my god I thought whoa that would that does definitely sound like a very great film like the twists the zombies I don't mind horror I love horror so and but the the villain like the woman who suddenly became the bad guys in the end i think they were women i think you said yeah yeah, yeah. lena and simone yeah okay yeah yeah they sound yeah they sound yeah they sound bad but like when you said like what they did and sacrificing people i'm like whoa that's a bit that's a lot for kids film but yeah it sounds like sounds some definitely something i should have watched maybe i did and i can't remember but yeah, I think I might try it again just to see or watch it just to see what it's like. But yeah, that sounds really interesting, especially if it's got like a lot of plots, like plot twists and like got more supernatural in it. Yeah, sounds interesting. Cool. So another one for Grace to add to her list. <laughs> and well, that ends my spoiler review today on Scooby Doo on Zombie Island, which I hope you guys really enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on the movie. Is it one of the best Scooby Doo movies out of the lot, or would you even go as far to say it's the best? How would you rate it? And make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our content. And as promised, there will be more Scooby-Doo content coming out. But in the meantime, do check out our Scooby-Doo playlist, which I'll leave a card up above for you guys to click and check out what other videos we've done. We've done quite a few reviews already, so have a look and let us know if you have any requests. We've already had a request to do the Scooby-Doo to Monsters Unleashed review, so that will be coming out soon, as soon as the three of us can get together and do that. But yeah, um, that's it for today. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.